NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, launched over 45 years ago, stands as the farthest human-made object from Earth, having ventured into the uncharted realm of interstellar space. It's astonishing to think that a spacecraft launched in 1977 continues to explore regions far beyond what was initially planned. The Voyager mission was expected to last just four years, but the spacecraft has surpassed all expectations, revealing new knowledge and rewriting our understanding of the cosmos. What's even more extraordinary is that Voyager 1, millions of miles away, is still communicating with Earth using technology older than a cassette player. Recently, this resilient explorer made a discovery in the depths of space that has startled the scientific community and captured the world's attention. The question remains, what did this spacecraft uncover, and how could it change our view of the universe? The origins of a remarkable journey. The story of Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, began with an unprecedented opportunity. Gary Flandro, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, calculated a rare cosmic alignment of the outer planets, including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, which occurs only once every 176 years. This arrangement, which would line up the planets in such a way that a spacecraft could use gravitational assists to slingshot from one planet to the next, drastically shortened the time needed for such a mission. With the planets positioned like beads on a string, NASA had a unique window to explore the outer solar system. The gravitational assist technique, or gravity slingshot, would allow the spacecraft to gain speed as they flew by each planet, cutting the travel time to Neptune from a typical 30 years to just 12. Faced with this exceptional opportunity, NASA acted swiftly, launching two nearly identical spacecraft in the summer of 1977, Voyager 2 on August 20 and Voyager 1 on September 5, just 15 days later. The original objective was to conduct a four-year mission to study Jupiter and Saturn, but the mission scope expanded when the spacecraft performed exceptionally well. The Voyager program evolved into a grand tour of the solar system, making groundbreaking discoveries at every stop. Early Discoveries and Milestones Voyager 1's early successes included a flyby of Jupiter, where it captured the first detailed images of the planet's complex atmosphere, revealing never-before-seen details of the Great Red Spot, a massive storm larger than Earth that has been raging for centuries. It also provided striking close-up images of Jupiter's moons, such as Io, which turned out to be the most volcanically active body in the solar system, with hundreds of volcanoes erupting on its surface. Next, Voyager 1 moved on to Saturn, where it uncovered more surprises. The spacecraft provided the clearest images of Saturn's intricate ring system, discovering previously unknown thin gaps and spokes within the rings. The mission also revealed that Saturn's largest moon, Titan, had a dense atmosphere rich in nitrogen and hydrocarbons, sparking further interest in studying this distant moon as a potential site for astrobiological research. Voyager 2, meanwhile, continued to make history by becoming the first spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These encounters provided the only close-up images ever taken of these ice giants, showing unexpected features like Neptune's Great Dark Spot, a massive storm similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot, and Uranus's sideways tilt, likely caused by a colossal collision in the planet's past. A technological marvel, challenges overcome. The Voyager spacecraft, each roughly the size of a small car, were built with technology that now seems archaic compared to today's standards. Equipped with only 69 kilobytes of memory, a fraction of what a modern smartphone can store, the spacecraft relied on tape recorders to store data collected by their onboard instruments. Communication with Earth was made possible through a transmitter that used just 23 watts of power, equivalent to a small household light bulb. Each spacecraft is equipped with a 12-foot diameter antenna to send signals back to Earth. However, as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 moved farther away, the challenge of communicating over such immense distances grew significantly. Signals traveling at the speed of light took over 18 hours to reach Earth from Voyager 2, with Voyager 1's signal taking even longer. As distance increased, background noise from Earth's radios, televisions, cell phones, and other sources made it harder to distinguish the faint signals from the spacecraft. To overcome this, NASA engineers had to continually upgrade ground-based receiving stations, known as the Deep Space Network, to improve the sensitivity needed to detect the ever-weakening signals. The onboard computers were programmed with artificial intelligence to handle some of the complexities autonomously, a necessity considering how long it would take for commands to be sent and received. Despite its limitations, this vintage technology has continued to perform reliably, allowing the spacecraft to overcome countless challenges during their extraordinary journeys. Beyond the planets, entering the unknown. As Voyager 1 reached the outer boundaries of the solar system, it approached a region known as the Heliopause, 
the boundary where the sun's solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium. This area marks the edge of the sun's influence and the beginning of true interstellar space. For many years, scientists had debated what Voyager would find upon crossing this frontier. The heliopause was initially estimated to be around 50 astronomical units, AU, from Earth, 1 AU is the distance from the Earth to the Sun, but as Voyager 1 approached that distance, it didn't immediately experience a significant change. Researchers continued to monitor the spacecraft's data, expecting to see an increase in the number of cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from outside our solar system, as Voyager exited the protective bubble of the Sun's heliosphere. There was also an expectation of a shift in the magnetic field direction as the spacecraft moved from a region dominated by the solar wind's magnetic influence to one shaped by the magnetic fields of the interstellar medium. Finally, on August 25, 2012, after a journey of about 122 Australian dollars, nearly 14 billion kilometers, Voyager 1 made the historic crossing into interstellar space. The data confirmed a significant increase in plasma density, indicating that the spacecraft had indeed left the solar system. Surprisingly, there was no significant change in the magnetic field's orientation, puzzling scientists who had anticipated a clear difference. This unexpected result hinted at the complexity of the heliopause structure and the interaction between the solar wind and the interstellar environment. Voyager 2 followed suit in November 2018, crossing into interstellar space at a distance of about 119 Australian dollars. With two probes now in the interstellar medium, researchers have gained valuable comparative data on different regions of the heliopause and beyond. The Golden Records, a message to the cosmos. An iconic aspect of the Voyager missions is the inclusion of the Golden Records, 12-inch gold-plated copper discs containing sounds and images portraying the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Curated by a team led by astronomer Carl Sagan, these records were intended as a time capsule for any intelligent extraterrestrial life that might encounter the spacecraft in the distant future. The Golden Records contain greetings in 55 languages, music from various cultures and eras, natural sounds such as thunder and bird songs, and images of human life, animals, and landscapes. While the chances of an alien civilization finding and decoding these records are incredibly slim, they serve as a poetic representation of humanity's desire to reach out and communicate beyond our world. Enduring legacy and ongoing exploration. The Voyager missions have gone far beyond their original goals, continuing to transmit data that challenge our understanding of space. The spacecraft have provided insight into the nature of interstellar space, revealing that the boundary of our solar system is not as clear-cut as once thought. The ongoing analysis of Voyager data is reshaping scientific theories about cosmic rays, the solar wind, and the interstellar medium. NASA has had to power down some instruments on the spacecraft to conserve energy, as the radioactive plutonium-238 in the power sources slowly decays. However, the remaining instruments continue to function, and mission scientists hope to keep receiving data from the probes for at least a few more years. A journey that will last forever. Although the day will come when Voyager 1 and 2 can no longer send signals to Earth, their journey through space will continue. Even after their instruments fall silent, the spacecraft will keep traveling, potentially for billions of years. Voyager 1 is headed towards the star Gliese 445, which it will approach in about 40,000 years. By then, it will be a mute witness, silently drifting through the cosmos as a relic of humanity's first steps into the vast unknown. The Voyager mission is not just a story of space exploration, it is a testament to human ingenuity, curiosity, and the quest for knowledge. It reminds us that even with limited resources and older technology, the desire to explore the universe can lead to discoveries that transcend generations. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more incredible stories from the universe.